Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would go through a few of my favorite products that I'm loving at the moment. Um, it's not a favorites, like a monthly favorites video. I didn't think I wanted to commit to that just yet. Um, so I'm just gonna go through some products that I love at the moment. I recently purchased a few products because I believe in treating one's self. But I started filming a haul video and I just ended up saying um, I bought this product because, or I bought this product because it looked good. Um, that's why I thought I would just do a favorites video and I could just explain why I'm loving this product at the moment. So I've got quite a lot of products in front of me. Let's get started. Starting off with primers. These are the primers that I'm loving at the moment. I'm loving the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. Step one, Skin Equalizer. This is really great for filling in um, open pores, um, wrinkles, and it just smooths out the skin for flawless finish. The Benefit Professional is pretty much the same as the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. Um, it does exactly the same things. It's oil free, lightweight, translucent, and it fills in your pores as well. As you can see, there is a trend going on. I love the Total Madness Philosophy Primer. This is oil free and it also fills in your pores. Um, I don't have really deep open pores, but I do like how it smooths out the skin and makes everything just apply so flawless on top. Next, I'm gonna talk about my favorite eye primers. Um, obviously, as you know, I use this one all the time. It's Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC. Um, this is great because it is it has a color to it. So it's gonna cancel out redness, it's gonna cancel out any purple darkness around the eyes and any veins. Um, and I just apply it before my eyeshadow and I find that my eyeshadow stays for much longer than had I not applied it. And I'm wearing soft ochre on my eyes at the moment, well underneath my eyeshadow. I also love the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Um, it's a long lasting eyeshadow base. This isn't coloured so it's not going to cancel out redness or darkness around the eyes. I do love how eyeshadows stay much longer when you're using this product. Moving on to foundation, these are my favourite foundations of all time. I have been loving this one forever. It's great for full coverage, um, very long lasting, so you can wear it all day, all night, and it's not going to disappear. Um, I don't tend to get very oily with this one, so um, yeah, it's amazing. Um, the EX1 Invisiwear Foundation. Um, this is great for oily skin as well. Um, it's not as long lasting as the MAC one, but it is full coverage and I do love the finish that it gives on my skin. I do set it with a powder and that's what makes it more long lasting. NARS Luminous All Day Weightless Foundation. I absolutely love this stuff. A tiny little bit of this foundation goes so far on my face and it lasts all day as it says, for me it does. Um, I do have very oily skin, so finding a luminous foundation that stays for the whole day is amazing. Um, this is the color Punjab. Sorry, I forgot to mention the color of the EX1. It's F300. I usually mix this with um, F200 depending on how light I am at the moment which currently I'm very white um, but yeah all three foundations love them um, so for concealer I love three concealers um, I love makeup forever full cover cream camouflage this is waterproof, 
it stays all day, it lasts very long, um, and I just love the coverage that it gives. And the colour that I'm in is number six. I use this under the eyes, down the bridge of my nose, forehead, and chin. And I also love a very classic concealer, the Prolong Wear Concealer from MAC. I am in the colour NC30. Um, and this is very long wearing. Um, I use this under the eyes and all the other areas of my face. Um, yeah, it's just amazing. It's full coverage and it lasts super duper long. Another one that I've recently picked up and I absolutely love is the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. This um, comes out super duper thick but when you apply it to the skin it sort of melts into the skin and just creates a beautiful flawless finish. This doesn't say the colour that I'm in but you can see it's probably like one to two shades lighter than my skin colour. But yeah, I just wear it underneath the eyes and the rest of the areas that I want to highlight. Moving on to powders, I have three different translucent powders that I love. I have the MAC Prep and Prime Translucent Finishing Powder um, and I also have the MAC Invisible Set Powder. And I love both of these, um, really, really good to bake with and um, set all the areas of the face. I also love the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Um, this is also amazing to set your whole face with. You can also pack it on really heavy to bake. Um, it's amazing. It also gives a very flawless finish. So I thought I would move on to setting sprays. Of course, I love Fix Plus Setting Spray. This is amazing to set your face with. Um, you can also put it on, spray yourself before um, applying foundation. Um, you can do anything with this one. I also love the Cordially um, Beauty Elixir. This smells it smells so fresh. It, I don't know how to describe it, but it smells super duper fresh. And this just hydrates the skin. I like to use it in summer just to refresh the face, give it a spray and you feel really refreshed and your um, foundation and powder, it just sets beautifully into the skin. I also love the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This is a long lasting makeup setting spray so I would usually use this if I'm going out to an event or going out at night and I want my makeup to last super duper long um, I'll just give my face a quick spray of this um, it's oil free paraben free temperature control technology I don't know what that means but I assume that it keeps you fresh for like 16 hours um, I love the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder. I absolutely love this shade for contouring. It is beautiful just to um, create shadows underneath the cheekbones and along the forehead um, and underneath the cheeks, underneath the jawbone. Um, it's a beautiful grey cool tone, um, so it's going to mimic shadows very easily. I also love the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Shade in Fawn. This comes in the contour kit, so you don't have to buy it separately if you buy the original contour kit. Um, but this one right here is beautiful to um, contour and create shadows as well because it is a grey tone. Now I also have a MAC contour shade that I love, it is this one right here, there. Um, it is called Sculpt by MAC and it is a beautiful grey shade as well, 
it creates beautiful shadows on the skin it um, blends in very well just like the other powders but yeah so they're the three contouring shades that I love for highlighters I love three different ones I love highlighting I think looking dewy um, is so much more flattering than looking super duper matte so I have here the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is pressed and it is called Moonstone. This is beautiful. I actually have it on my cheeks at the moment and it is like a light gold champagne color. Beautiful for a lot of skin types um, and it just creates the most beautiful glow on the skin. I also love the Laura Mercier Matte Radiant Baked Powder. Um, this is Highlight 01 and I just love this shade. It comes off like a really light pearly peach color. Um, I'm not wearing it at the moment, I'm wearing a different one, but it is beautiful. It's really, really um, shimmery and it creates such a beautiful glow on the skin. The third one that I love is this shade right here from Makeup Forever. It's the Pro Sculpting Duo, and I think this is the lighter shade. So this is sort of like a, a light, I think the other one is a goldy one, but this is like a champagne color, and it looks sort of luminescent on the skin. It's beautiful, I think, I, yeah, I have it on my nose. As you can see, it's different to that one. It's a little bit more, um, what's the word, like, luminescent but I love this love it and then since I'm using the same product for my bronzers my favorite bronzers this one I've heard a lot of people don't like this bronzer I love this bronzer to bronze up the skin it literally just sits beautifully on the skin it doesn't even look like you've got powder it just looks like you've got a color there it is beautiful and it really warms up the skin. The other bronzers that I love, I love the NARS Laguna bronzer. This also is beautiful on the skin. It's like a golden bronze rather than like a ready tone bronze. But I do love this bronzer. I have loved it forever. And um, yeah, as you can see, it's a beautiful shade. It's very flattering. My next matte bronzer that I love is the Girlactic Bronzer in Casablanca. This is great for lighter skin tones and um, I wouldn't say that I would contour with this but I would like sort of create a, um, what's it called, what's it called? I would create a gradient effect from a contour shade to this shade. It doesn't warm up the skin, but it does make the skin more bronzed because it's a bronzer. Um, but anyways, I also love this bronzer. Moving on to eyeshadows, I just thought I would go with a brand rather than showing you three favorite colors that I love. So I love the Zoeva Story Palettes. Um, they are amazing. They have a great range of colors. So this one is the Naturally Yours palette. It has a lot of neutral shades in it. I also have the Zoeva Retro Future palette and it's a little bit more colorful so you could play around with different colors with that one. And I also love the Coco Blend palette which is the new one that they released. It has some really warm shades and some nice shimmery ones. I love the Story palette. The shadows are really, really pigmented and they aren't very expensive. You get a great range of colors for not much of a price. So since we're on the eyes, I thought I would do my favorite eyeliners. The first eyeliner that I absolutely love is the AMC eyeliner gel from Inglot in number 77. This is just a black eyeliner. So it's just like that. It's really black, super duper duper black, and it's super matte. Um, and it's really easy to control when you're trying to do a winged liner. 
I also love the Art Deco liner. This has a um, paint sort of brush. So you paint it on like a normal eyeliner. Um, it's really easy to control as well and the liquid in here is super black and matte. The next eyeliner I'm going to show you is the um, MAC Eye Coal in Fascinating. This I love to use on the inner rim of the eye as you can see I'm using it today. I love how it just brightens the eye and it's super pigmented and it lasts a long time. My favourite mascaras are the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, the Urban Decay Perversion, as you know I always use this one, and the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. This one I love for thickening my eyelashes, same as this one, I just use one coat, um, either or of these ones, and um, I apply false lashes on top, so I don't really um, use mascara to build up my lashes because I am applying false lashes. I love the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash just to put on the lower lashes because it's a very small brush and it can get right in there and separate the lower lashes and make them look super long. So I thought I would go with my favorite lashes. This is just gonna be a lash brand and I think you know what I'm going to say. I love the Velour lashes. They are my hands down holy grail lashes because they are so easy to apply. They look beautiful on the eye and they last very long. Like I could wear a pair of lashes for like 25 times and they still look perfectly fine. Um, the three that I'm loving are Lash in the City, Wispy Me Away and You Complete Me. Um, they just look so fluttery on the eye and at the moment I am wearing You Complete Me. As you can see um, they just look, they don't look natural but they just look like your own hairs. They just add the most beautiful flutteriness to the lashes and I love them, I absolutely love them. Okay, my favourite lash glue is the House of Lashes Clear White Eyelash Adhesive. This is amazing. This does not, um, it dries super quickly. It does not like slide around all over your eye. As long as you let it set for a little bit. Um, I just love this. I would not go back to any other eyelash glue. This is my favorite. I was gonna do my favorite lipsticks, but I found that I had way too many. So I'm gonna do my favorite lip paint. I'm gonna start with Demure from Galactic. This is my hands down favorite lip paint. Um, beautiful formula. It glides on beautiful over the lips. And it's just the perfect um, deep red brownie color. I love this. Next, I'm going to say that Dose of Colors in Stone is one of my favorite um, neutral colors. I love the formula of these. I love um, the color of this one in particular. And let's show you. It's like that. It's a bit more dark than what I'm wearing today. The one that I'm wearing today is the Stilla Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick, and this is in Bellissima. I love this color. It's a beautiful, soft, nude peach, and I just love how it looks on my makeup today. And yeah, I love, I love this color. So I just want to mention my favorite brush cleaner. It's the Cinema Secrets makeup brush cleaner and I use this just to spot clean my brushes 
So in between uses or in between clients, um, I use this and like an antibacterial cleaner. Um, yeah, I love this. I think it's the best thing ever created. I just like to mention my hair products that I love at the moment. I love this charcoal treatment, charcoal treatment cream. And what I do with this is I put it in my hair, I then apply heat, so I will apply um, like a straightener, and then I will leave it in overnight or all day. When you wash it out, your, your hair, not skin, your hair is beautiful and soft, and I feel like it's what has helped my hair grow strong. This is my absolute favorite. I'll link down below where you can get it because I don't think many places sell this, but I love it. The next favorite hair product that I love is this hairspray by Matrix. It's Amplify Volume and 24 Hour Boost Technology Hairspray. And I particularly love the way that it comes out, so you don't even have to press it that much. It just comes out like really soft and misty um, and I love the smell of it as well. The last product that I want to mention relates to my hair as well and it's the Phyto Hair and Nails 4 month program and I think hair supplements help with strengthening my hair as well. Um, I've been taking this one for I think I've finished one bottle so I've got another bottle to go. It has definitely helped strengthen my hair and grow it to the length that I have it. So once I finish this I think I'll definitely be repurchasing another four month program. So that concludes my favorite products at the moment. Um, as I said before I don't think I will commit to doing a favorite monthly video but maybe down the track I will. Um, I just wanted to share with you what I'm loving at the moment and sorry if it's not well explained I just wanted to get through all the products that I'm loving because I didn't want this to be a one hour video. So yeah I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next tutorial.